Hi everyone, Michael again. Just thought I'd give you a bit of an update on my chargers. What I've done is I've added these, um, the extra four charging boards that I had and I put them into the um, into the bank here. So um, now I've got um, 14 chargers. Um, what I've also found is that these ones here are from a different manufacturer and they, uh, they have a much brighter red LED um, and rather than a green LED like we have up here um, they use a blue LED um, as you'll see there um, indicating that the battery is charged. Now the problem with these ones here and I wouldn't recommend these ones is they seem to flick between red and blue um, quite often uh, when they are sitting there with no um, cell in them. So if I turn, if I take out a couple of cells, you'll see that it starts to turn into a bit of a Christmas tree. Um, so I'm not really a fan of those um, and I would kind of stay away from them. Um, they seem to be fine, they, they do charge the battery. When the battery is charged, they um, the, the blue light stays on and there doesn't seem to be any issue with the charging of the cell it's just that they seem to flick when there's no um, cell in place so not really too sure what's going on there I've taken the, um, the batteries out of this and, and tested it um, with my IMAX B6 just charging it a bit and seeing if I can charge it any more and the, ch the cells that are coming out of here are fully charged so that's fine um, it's just they flicker where the ones at the top here don't flicker um, these ones here seem perfect, so I'm not too, really too sure what the differences are. The, the, the f format of the um, circuit almost looks identical. Uh, I'm guessing they use it. They've used a different resistor somewhere along here, and that's what's causing the flicker. Um, I'm not too sure, but um, so yeah, recommendation is to obviously buy the top ones up here uh, if you are. So yeah, I've, um, I've connected these four to another uh, Molex connector which is separate to the top ones so they're running off a different cable directly to the power supply um, this power supply is uh, again it's the 650 watt um, power supply and it's um, and it's got um, the, they use the modular connectors so um, you can just plug in the cables that you want to use at the time um, and the ones I'm using are just like the normal IDE hard drive connectors or the, the Molex connectors um, so that's a bit of an update for that. Um, the reason I added the um, those other four um, charging circuits was because I was finding that throughout my day I didn't have enough charged cells to take with me to discharge throughout the day. I'd find that I'd run out um, halfway through the day of batteries to discharge. So having another four just means I can get um, at least another probably around 30 done or charged to go each night and that way um, it's not kind of holding me up during the day. The other thing I'm finding now is that now I've sped up the charging which is great my next now my, my bottleneck really currently is that I need to take apart enough laptop batteries to get uh, to keep these charges um, full the whole time. So um, I normally take the laptop batteries apart and I put them into the two charge box here um, and as you see I've only got two left which means I need to take apart another three or four laptop batteries today so I can fill those charges up before I go to work um, and just staying on top of taking apart laptop batteries or enough laptop batteries so that I've got enough char enough cells to charge so that I've got enough cells to discharge so while getting um, um, while there's always a bottleneck somewhere um, and currently the bottleneck is me taking apart um, laptop batteries um, because it's a pain in the ass um, ordeal and it's not something that I really enjoy um, I need to get some gloves um, because yeah I've cut myself a few times taking apart laptop batteries one laptop battery I shorted and, and somehow shorted it in my hand uh, it wasn't really a laptop battery, it was, one, it was actually a couple of cells or three cells out of a server um, um, board that they use, um, one of the RAID cards, and um, it, uses, it used three uh, 18650s, which is a bit surprising because they don't normally, um, and taking apart that, somehow I got it stuck in my hand and it shorted and um, ended up burning, burning my finger. So that wasn't very fun. So I um, need to get some gloves. Um, I see some other guys are using gloves, so that's a great idea. I've got glasses, um, 
which is um, so I've been quite lucky with flying with things that are flying off the battery. Um, sometimes the the plastic on the batteries is quite brittle, and it, it seems to kind of explode as you try and um, rip the battery apart. Um, so um, what I'm needing to do is um, put some glasses on as well, just to protect my my eyes from you know flying shards of um, plastic at times. So it doesn't happen very often, but you know when the plastic does rip apart and it breaks, it you know hits the ceiling of the garage and it flies over the place. So I'm sure after I finish this project, I'll be picking up pieces of plastic for the for the rest of my life. But but that's okay. Um, so anyway, that's a quick update. Um, hope everyone's well, and um, see you guys soon. Thank you.